y'all. So, um, I'm getting better at these updates, I think. Um, what was my last update? I think it's my 21 month update. Um, this won't really be a proper update, I guess. It won't be like a monthly update, but this is to talk more about of something that I've done with my hair recently. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have noticed, maybe you haven't, but I have cut my hair. Um, I know some people might be like, um, how are you cutting your hair and you're only like a little under two years locked? Well, I know the general consensus, consensus is to not really cut your hair until your hair is really mature and usually that's like three plus years down the line that you want to do that um but for me um I just need a change with my hair my hair was pretty much all one length except for like a couple like locks here and there that were kind of layered but you know they're just kind of hanging there and um you know my hair was getting in the way and I have a history of uh, once my hair gets, gets to a certain length, I start to get a little scissor happy. Um, you know, my hair was just kind of hanging there. I wanted a change. Um, I wanted to take a risk with my hair. Um, there are also some things I was unhappy with with my hair that um, would have been alleviated by cutting my hair. Um, so it was either restart my hair or cut my hair into a style and see what happens. So I figured before going to the extreme of restarting my locks, I would cut my hair and see what happens. Because not only would I get rid of those problem areas, I would also have a style. So basically, um, aside from it being shorter, I also gave myself a asymmetrical cut. So it's not the typical asymmetrical cut that you see on a lot of people, especially with locks, usually you see the short in the back, long in the front. So it's like that A-line type thing. I did a very gradual asymmetrical cut. So it's short here. This is the shortest point, And it gets longer, 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 longer. And then it comes over to this side. So this is the longest point, And then this is the shortest point. Um, and I'm really liking it. Um, I think after like three days, I started to freak out. I was like, wait, did I make a mistake? And I like tried to reattach my old locks or like the locks that I cut off back on this side. Um, it didn't work. <laughs> Actually, but anyway, I'm really liking it. Um, it's less work. It gives me a different look just because I've never really had a haircut. I got layers when I was 12. So that was 14 years ago. Um, <laughs> Uh, aside from that, I've never really taken a risk with hairstyles. Um, another thing um, I've been doing is playing around with hair color. Um, you can't tell right now. Um, you can probably tell a little bit. Like, it's a little lighter. Like, usually my hair is like very, very, very dark brown, almost black. Um, but last month I used the Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink. Um, this color right here. And on unbleached hair, I have not bleached my hair. I haven't used developer or anything. I just used this. And um, because the formula is so gentle, um, it's basically conditioner with coloring in it. And you can keep it in your hair for a whole day, overnight, if you want to. So I kept it in for eight hours, and it came to this really pretty, um, kind of dusty red color. And I only did that on one lock because I wanted to test it out and then also I had re-injured my shoulders so I really wasn't able to do all of my head anyway and then after that I bought um, this uh, you can't really tell the color because it's empty <laughs> but this is purple haze it's also manic panic if you can see the color it's this um, and so uh, I put this on top of that same single lock and I like the way it came out. And so, uh, a couple weeks after that, I came up with some ratios. I like tested on some paper towel uh, with like different ratios, like one to one, one to two, three to one, one to three, 
and I did a whole, I had like six different combinations. <laughs> I'm just that type of person, I'm, I'm very scientific and methodical in the way that I make decisions. So that's what I did. Um, picked the ratio that I wanted and it was super pretty. I only did like the bottom half of my hair because I wanted to accentuate the asymmetrical cut. So it was kind of like an ombre, but in the back, it was really uneven so it wasn't like straight across it was like dye and then this here then this dye here it's kind of crazy um and so a week after that i was like well i want to do my whole head and so i'm like i'm gonna do a different ratio and it was a darker ratio than the one i started with so it was more purple than the pink and um, I brought it down too far onto the lighter portion and so now all of my hair pretty much looks really dark. Depending on the lighting, it can look um, different. Um, I'll show you pictures on what that looks like in the sunlight and with flash, um, but I'm going to stop messing with it for now and uh, let it fade a little bit and I'll probably force a little bit of color out by using like my clarifying shampoo with like a lot of oil and then I'll probably try and get to that first um, or that second combination color that I had um, that was the ombre because I really really like that one um, but yeah so I'm really happy you know really happy with my hair right now it's so cute I really like it um, um, what else was I gonna say? Um, because as I kind of mentioned, I re injured my shoulder, which is funny because that's why I started my locks in the first place. I injured my shoulder and I didn't have money to go somewhere and get my hair done every two weeks, so I started my locks. Um, but I re injured my shoulder, and so, um, I've been trying to do styles that would require me not to really maintain my hair that often so um like the first few weeks I was wearing these two French braids this is before I cut my hair wearing these two French braids um that my mom did for me it was so cute um they were like kind of athletic type of look where it was like yeah I work out all the time I'm on a soccer team like yeah where I do work out but um <laughs> I just kind of like that vibe it made me look like I was an athlete or something anyway um and then since then i didn't want to have my mom doing my hair every week i didn't want to like bother her with that um i've been doing the um this kind of wrap and tuck style with a um one of those stretchy headbands stretchy thin ones and um yeah and then wrapping it around and basically if you look up headband curls that's what i've been um, that's how I've been styling my hair and so I took them out Thursday night and so this is my hair and I did that on dry hair I didn't spray it with anything like it was like a hundred percent dry um, and so the fact that I've been able to get these curls um, they've kind of fallen um, but the fact that I was able to get these curls on dry hair is pretty nice so um, yeah, um, I don't know what else I've been doing. Uh, on this hair, um, on this hair, with this style, with this haircut, um, I really like curls and stuff. I haven't really worn it straight. I've worn it straight around the house. That's pretty much it. Um, I think now that I've interlocked the front, I'll like it straighter now. Um, in the previous video, I mentioned that I, that I was not interlocking all the way to the root in the front anymore because I like the way that the retwist look, but now I'm not doing that. I found out that with this really deep part, in order to keep this part, it's better to have it interlocked because the interlock keeps my locks in this position versus a retwist. Even if you retwist it and let it dry in this position, it still has a lot of leeway, it's a lot of flop back and forth all over the place so I was at work and like some of these locks will be over here and I'm constantly like readjusting so um they might fall on my face a little bit but now they're no longer like all the way on this side so um I interlock the front and um of course it's still loose they're not super tight but I don't have any room to retwist so and 
then also with me injuring my shoulder, I really didn't want to be retwisting every two weeks. You know, I just want to leave it alone. Um, and then as far as what I, as, as far as how I cut my hair, um, I just divided it into the sections that I wanted. I knew I wanted this side to be sh the shortest. So, you know, I took a rubber band, not a rubber band, a, a ponytail holder, wrapped it at the point where I wanted to cut. And I did that for each section. So I, I think I had about five, four to six sections. And then I had the longest section for my bangs. I didn't really cut that much off the front. I cut like maybe half an inch or so and so um, I'll insert pictures of what that looked like and um, yeah and so the key is to um, cut on an angle don't cut straight across your locks like this you want to cut at an angle because when you cut at an angle that prevents the frame um, and it just doesn't look as blunt um, now some areas um, are starting to quote unquote unravel but that's because um i cut into the two strand portion twist at the end that wasn't locked and so um i've gone in with a crochet hook and fixed those portions um but for the locks where i cut into the interlocked portion they have not unraveled at all they're very strong stable um they haven't unraveled like at all so um I can't say for sure that if you have interlocked locks, you'll be fine like me, but I was willing to take that risk, so I took the risk, and so far my hair seems to be fine. If you have, um, you know, hair that was started, if you have locks that was started with, you know, comb coils, and you only maintain through retwisting, and you want to get a, a haircut at two years I can't tell you if that's a good choice for you or not um, I'm not a loctician and I'm totally just experimenting on my hair I would say if you're curious to just do one lock that's easily hidden in the back and see what happens over the you know a month or so and if it seems okay do it on the rest of your hair but um for me, I was just like, I want to do this, and I'm doing it. It was just very much kind of a spur of the moment thing, but it was also something I had been thinking of on and off for a couple months. But yeah, so um, I'll do a 360. So hopefully you were able to see the kind of gradual cut that I was talking about, the gradual asymmetrical thing going on. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you guys have any questions on the haircut or the dye, uh, let me know. And um, yeah, so next month is my two years. I'm so excited. Um, and uh yeah so i will see you guys next month thanks for watching bye